There, it's Sandy Allnock, and it is Copic Maintenance Day here in the studio. And I'm going to shoot some juicy footage of my markers and everything all set up. I don't normally set them up like little soldiers this way, but for the sake of juicy footage, why not, right? I still have the old reinkers, as you can see. I still have my old Copic tweezer, which I think is still available. It has little claws on the end that pull the nibs out nicely. And this is the new reinker bottles, if you haven't seen them yet. Yes, they're smaller and it does cost more per ounce. Unfortunately, they did not increase their prices slowly over the years like most companies do. They let us at the same price forever. And then all of a sudden they had to increase their prices. Yet They have to do that at some point. So I refuse to hold it against them as much as it's painful to pay the new price because they still make the best alcohol ink markers out there and I'm not going to change. I keep trying other brands and I'm not satisfied with any of them. So I'm sticking with Copic and I'm not going to get mad at them. Now on to maintenance. We've got the marker that needs to have some ink put in it. So I have take out the chisel nib using the tweezers, open the bottle and have it ready. And I am always a mess with everything. I'm just sloppy. So I wrap a paper towel around it. There are people who will use all different kinds of fancy tools or use scales to weigh their markers. I just put in 40 drops into a really dry sketch marker and scale down from there. If it's not as dry, I'll just use less drops. And it works out for me. I, I don't get real careful about trying to weigh my pens. Put that chisel nib right back in and your marker should be all ready to roll. Now there's sometimes when you need to change the nib itself. If the nib either starts getting little fuzz balls on the end of it, there is a video that I'll link you to in the comments as, or in the description as well as at the end of the video about how you can sometimes fix the nibs and you don't have to always replace them, but this one definitely needed it. The outside of the pen has all kinds of ink on it. I wanted to clean it off. I used to do it with the big bottle of Colorless Blender, but I've switched to doing that with isopropyl alcohol because you can't get the big bottle anymore and I don't want to waste that precious commodity. Don't ever put the isopropyl into your markers, by the way. Just use it for maintenance. Then I grabbed a super brush nib. You can pop that in there. Now, if you just pop it in the end, it's really long, so you want to shove it all the way into the pen and get it all refilled the way you normally would. Don't refill it and then change the nib because the new, the old nib is gonna carry ink out with it and you'll throw that away. So wait until you have your new nib in there and then you can watch the deliciousness as the ink flows out into the new nib. And there you go, all changed and ready to go. There's sometimes when you don't know, are you supposed to change this or not? And I just wanna show you what a bad nib looks like, not just because you know, the ones that get the normal fuzzies on the outside or whatever, but this one is just soft. You can see it just kind of squish when you touch it to the paper. And when I went back and forth, it just flops. So I changed the nib and I want you to see the comparison with what a good brand new nib looks like. And of course, once again, juicy footage as it starts to fill itself in. I love this moment of watching the ink just fill it up ever so slowly and then touch that one to the paper and see what that pressure looks like. Same pressure I'm using with my hand, but I'm not getting that bendy bendy. So if you have markers that are getting all bendy bendy that way, there's not really a repair for that. There is sometimes when they're gummed up or gunky, but not when the nib itself just starts going sideways that way. So that's about it for today. Just a quickie, thought I'd share a few things about maintenance and I will see you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye, guys.